welcome to the session greeting of the day we will continue from the last topics of elements of mechatronics in the previous session we have seen about in the last class we have seen about in the last class we have seen about the types of automations We have seen about the types of automations and later also we have seen about the domain, the domain of automation where this interdisciplinary field comes and we have given a startup with the elements of mechatronic system. So what we have here we have dividing those elements of mechatronic system in two categories one is about the controlled system one is about the controlling system in controlled system we have the actuators the sensors and the mechanical actions which we are doing is a belong to the controlled system and again, what, which parts are controlling part? The controlling part are the microelectronic devices, the microcontrollers, microprocessors, analog to digital conversions, digital to analog conversions, and the software programming. So this all belong to the controlling part. It means the computerized information technology parts. So that is how we have been able to see the elements of mechatronic system see i repeat it the mechatronic system integrates involving the sensors and measurement systems the actuating systems of mechanical pneumatic and hydraulics right and the controlling system here this is the controlled part you should understand this is the controlled part and then the controlling parts of microprocessor, microcontrollers and softwares. Okay. This is what we are going to see about. Here, you see, what I have mentioned to you, what I have told you previously, which is given in a, a pictorial format. You can see here, a mechanical system, which is nothing but a actuators, and sensors which is controlled controlled by the controlling devices which is marked in the yellow box the red box is the controlled one and the yellow box is the controlling one so we can see here the actuators like the solenoids like the solenoids and then the stepper motors the hydraulic the pneumatic right the switches and various sensors, thermometers, thermocouples, right? those things are belong to the controlled part. How the work data flow or workflow happens here? From the controlled part, the input has been cut, given to the electrical systems. There, which elements will be doing those process this analog information to be converted into the digital format sometimes the output coming from the actuators which will not have sufficient amplifications those things to be done by the amplifiers some noise reductions filterings those things should be done there so we have here it is the input signals the input signal conditioning and the interfacings. How we are doing? How we are doing? Maybe the analog to digital, maybe the digital to digital, right? And the amplification process are done. So now we have received the input from the actuating systems. Now it is received inputs to be controlled whether it is to be increased or to be decreased, what is the, whether it is error, all things to be verified 
and the feedback signal again to be given to the controlled part by the controlling systems. Right? Those things are done by the digital control architectures. What are they? Nothing but a programming. The programmer, logic controllers, logic programming, they are doing PLC. So that is what I have written here. So the PLCs, the logic circuits, microcontrollers, right? Those things are done by the controller part. Right? And then later it is controlled. The input has been received, the information gathered. And according to the information, whether it is to be increased or decreased, the error controlling process, controlling information to be again given to the mechanical systems. So again this analog to digital has been converted and given. And then from there, digital to analog conversion to be happened, then only these actuators will receive. So those things again, the output signals, see, the output signals output signal condition and interface. So here one interfacing is input interfacing and here one output interfacing is there. Okay, we understand this. So here also digital to analog or voice may be digital to digital. As usual we have amplifiers, filters, everything here also. Right? So after this doing we have to see what happens? Visually, we have to relate those things with us. So, we have connecting those things with the screens, a graphical display. We are connecting those things with the screen and graphical display. Now, these informations are going back through the controllers, through the controller to the mechanical systems. Right? This is how the elements of mechatronics, the elements of mechatronics will be pictured. So additionally we can able to do a modeling analyzing and design testings can be done. Right? So a mechanical system and the electrical system through the information technologies we have connected to form an element right we have a mechanical we have an input we have a control and we have an output and then the output is controlling the feedback given back to the again the mechanical system let's remember this right so what i have mentioned there in the picture what i have mentioned there in the picture again i have described so sensors and actuating systems, what it does, it senses, what is information it gathers, actuator produce the motion or cause any action, right, the action done by the actuators, but we need information to be given, that is done by the control system, okay? the sensors detect and start of the system are detect and then start of the system to the input from there we are giving the input and the outputs so you see we have sensors given to the input and then it received from the output right it gives here and it receives here right so likewise now we are talking about we have seen about this mechanical systems and the input and output signals, both these conversions. This coordinating and interfacing systems, this coordinating and interfacing systems provide the connections between the control circuits. This is important. Between the control circuits and input and outputs. Where is this control circuits? Here is the control circuit, you see. It is in between this input and output interfacings are in between these two, in between this controlling circuits. One it gives and it is controlled information is received, converted and returning back to the mechanical systems. So that is how we understand. 
Now, the controlling system. This controlling system is carried out by the digital controllers like microprocessors, microcontrollers, PLCs, everything. Programming and so on. So, graphical displays are additionally for the receiving the information, visually seeing. So, provide a visual feedback for the user. Uh, it is us for the user. So, we have seen the elements and their descriptions, a diagram that we understand how the elements are connected with the each and every input output cycles. Right? So, for our better understanding, I have given some picture idea. A mechanical system runs with respect to the actuating systems and then sensors, maybe digital or analog sensors. Right? And then this analog to digital converters are input. And then the controlling device, microprocessor, PLC, programming. And then again from here, the output. There it is input here. This is input. Okay, this is input, right? And then here the again the outputs, and from the output again the actuating sensors is given. So it is a cycle. It is a cycle happening here with the feedback. So we again we see a mechanical system, and then it receives a physical signal is converted into electrical electronics. And then from there again the controlled actions by the electronic devices. And then from here the electronic signals are given to the actuators for the running of the mechanical system. It is a cycle. It is a cycle as I mentioned. The elements of mechatronic system. we have the various levels of mechatronics. We can, a simple mechatronics of level 1, level 2, level 3, we can able to divide. That's what I have did here. You see, the level 1. A standalone system, a component works the job from there. A simple, like washing machines, like Xerox machines, a camera, this all belongs to a mechatronics system which works individually a compact devices. That comes under level 1. When the level increases, the complexity increase. When the level increases, the complexity of the electronics, mechatronics increases. Right? You see. A standalone system, a washing machine, photocopier, compact disc player, a DVD player. Understand those simple technologies having autofocus cameras, ovens, everything we are using in a home appliances. This all belong to level one, right? In level two, the complexity is increasing. The level two system with the high level of distribution of sensors. See, high level of somehow we are increasing a number of complexity sensors and actuators are more. Sensors or microcontrollers actuators in relationships. How we are doing, for example, we can take a wire aircrafts, the electronic circuits in the aircrafts, the complexity increasing, see, the mobiles, the vehicles, unmanned vehicles, automatic vehicles, all belongs to level 2. And then further we increase the complexity. So further we increase the complexity here. Where there is standalone system. Here a simple sensors are much more sensors and actuators are added. And then here you see a large factory systems which links a number of major subsystems to systems are interconnected here. You see a machining centers, our workstations are connected now. To Two workstations are connected by machining centers. Uh, robots for parts handling. We have we have seen at every way this some robotic images operating the automobile parts, parts handling, framing, 
So these things are all belong to the level three. It is connecting the various workstations here. It also have much more sensors. It also have much more microcontrollers, microprocessors. The complexity is increasing here, right? And then you see other examples: automated inspections, automated inspection stations are there, right? And then further we increase, further we increase the complexity. The last, the level four. Now, a system that incorporates intelligent controls. Artificial intelligence, intelligent control systems, okay. So that all control comes under this. How, how we can tell some examples, humanoid robots, man robots, how everything it is doing. We no need. Instead of human power, the humanoid robots are doing everything. Like simulators, medical surgeries. So this all belongs to, this all belongs to the level 4. Just I repeat, you see, the level one as standalone, a simple, a complexity increases, a system with high level of distribution of sensors and actuators and microcontrollers, microprocessors. Level three, large factory with interconnecting the workstations, and level four with uh, intelligent artificial intelligence like neural robots and medical safety systems. So that is how the mechatronic system from simple to the complexity increases. So these are some of the applications. Okay. Even though we, we touch up here some few names of applications we can see like uh, smart consumer products of uh, home securities, cameras, ovens for idea. We know we have, we have to see for remembrance we have seen a various understandings. So home securities, cameras, microwave oven, Dishwashers, uh, AC, every, everything, all belong to whatever the technology we are using in our hands, all belong to mechatronics. Right, uh, pens, this digital pens. Right? So, in medical field, implanted devices, surgeries, medical surgery, we have discussed, it's a level 4. In the previous slide, we have discussed assisted surgeries, level 4. Right? Defenses, unmanned air, ground, and water vehicles. And everything, unmanned air, ground, and water vehicles, right? So all as jet engines. See in manufacturing side, robotics, machines. We remember just coming up. We are getting into the mechatronic system. We are refreshing, automating, anti-lock brakes, cruise control, airbags, safeties. Everything we we have seen those things. But we have not understood though this is belongs to mechatronic system. Now we, we are getting in touch. Engine management systems, right? Anti-braking systems, ABS we have seen in automobiles, right? So distributor of robotics, tele-robotics, everything belongs to the applications of mechatronics. It comes under those things. Right? We see one few more slides also in the mechatronic system. So you can see an uh, industrial scope. What they in industry, how this will be useful, this mechatronic system. So just uh, for our understanding, I have given here the artificial intelligence, the control systems, data communication networks, the signal controlling various interface, the computer connectors, right? The smart infrastructures, the antennas, wireless, wired networks. Telecommunications all belongs to smart infrastructures. See the plan, the artificial, robotic functionings, assembling of parts by the robots in the industries, right? Industrial automation is every process, a factory functioning, flexible manufacturing system, workstation, multiple workstation connecting. Those things all industrial scope. Those things all belong to the industrial scope. So human interfacings. Simulations, modeling, those things, and dynamic machines, the air brake systems, safety systems, those things all comes here with respect to this industrial scope. This many applications are there. Very importantly, we have to see this. Right? So, few, few, few 
few more examples or applications I want to, to tell you. Then we enter into the various concepts, the automobile scopes. Here we have seen interstate scopes. In automobiles we see the cameras, the radars, right? The ultrasonic sensors, encoders, the speed counters, speed counters, encoders, GPS systems, everything belong to this type of mechatronic system. So we have seen interstate scope, automobile scopes, right? Electronic scope. What what we are simply where we where we are touching, we are, we are crossing everything, we are crossing the industry, we are crossing the automobiles, we are crossing the every day, your day to day gadgets, right? Mobiles, you see, the exercising, heartbeat measure and measurement systems. Right? So everything are there, smart smartphones, the gaming systems, the TVs, everything belong to mechatronics. So this sketch gives you the total idea of evaluation of mechatronic system. This sketch gives you a total idea of mechatronic system. See this it is invented in the air from the fixed automation to the flexible automation we are coming here. Total workflow actually. Right? See in 1860s, in 1860s, in 1860s they started of producing the steam engines and then from there the increasing of the electrical devices the increasing of the electrical devices in 1880s combustion engines and then in 1920s right, a mechanical system with electrical drives relays solenoids PA controllers in 1930s just we are seeing a workflow how the mechatronics has been developed Historical review how it is evaluated, we have seen. Application we have seen, the importance, the elements we have seen. So, somehow we have to see about how from where we are coming to understand. So, again, increasing the automatic controls are increased in 1935. The transistors, thyristors, so they have developed again and increasing from here. 1860s, the complexity also keeps on increasing. You can see, right? So 1955, we have came analog controllers, sequencer controllers here. Analog controllers and free sequencer controllers are there. Right? And then in 1975, here 1975, from analog controllers we came to digital controllers. Analog controllers to digital controllers we came. And then in 1985, flexible mantra system in 1960, it came in 1985, we are developing these things, softwares, simulations, simulatic additions, yeah. so more things, see, ABS, right, automatic braking systems, right, so uh, likewise uh, we are evaluating the mechatronics system. So some of the some of the applications on the automobile industry. A few, few. We'll move move ahead. A few. You see, a hydraulic anti-locking braking system. Or I mean, you know this. I'm giving a clip. So electronic stability programs, electrohydraulic brake, all belong to our applications. Home mechatronic systems. So you see in mechanical steerings, in mechanical steerings, electromechanical power assisted steerings, electromechanical power assisted steerings, active front steerings and many more, many more are there. The suspensions, active hydraulic suspensions, likewise everywhere the day to day life we are running along with the mechatronics, very important. Very importantly, we are understanding these things. So you see, in this session, we have discussed.
discussed about the elements of mechatronics first we have seen. Elements of mechatronics we have seen. There we have seen the input, the control, their output right? and then it is processed towards the mechanical system. So like which we have seen. And then we also we have seen about uh, the applications. Applications in industrial scope. In industrial scope. In, uh, in automobile. In automobiles. In electronics, and also we have seen the evaluation of the mechatronics system. Okay. Remaining questions we will see you in the next class. Next class. Thank you.